Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Marcial. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Of course, today I am your teacher for social studies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present to you a PowerPoint that I put together. We're going to watch a movie and then your lesson is embedded. That means in, it's in this video. So right now, what you'll need is a paper and a pencil. You won't need it right now this second, but you will eventually need it. So let's get it ready right now. That is going to be your assignment for social studies. So you can put this video on pause while we get ready um, so that we can continue this video. All right. What I'm going to do is I am going to show my screen to you and I am going to present this um, PowerPoint. Today we are learning about producers and consumers, which you've already known a little bit about, but I'm going to go over a little bit more um, so that we can better understand what they are. What will we do today? We will identify how people can be producers and consumers, how we're going to look at everyday jobs in ways that we are producers and consumers. Why? Because knowing the difference between producers and consumers will help us in our everyday decisions. We are consumers uh, every day and we are also producers. So let's see how we are. All right, so producers. Producers are people who make goods and services. Everyone say that with me. People who make goods and services. Now say it again people who make goods and services. So the cool thing about producers is that uh, we see them every day. There's a farmer, there's a chef, there's a doctor. Now, what do you think the farmer is producing? I want you to say it out loud. What do you think the farmer is producing? Just pause right now and tell me what the producer, uh, how the farmer is producing. What does the father, uh, farmers make? He can make or she can make um, uh, vegetables, right? They grow vegetables and plants for us to have, for us to cook with, right? And for us to actually buy. Excuse me. Then we have a chef. What does the chef produce? What, is, what does the chef produce? Food. When you go out to a restaurant, there's usually someone there cooking, right? That is a chef. They're creating food for you to eat. But producers don't always necessarily have to make something physically. Like there's somebody who ma made this orange juice, right? Or someone who made this Marcio snacks. Um, producers are not always just making things. People, producers are people who make goods and services. So a doctor is a producer too. But does that doctor make anything for people? No, it tells them, hey, if they're having an, a problem, they tell them what's going on so that the help that they can get. Now, me, Miss Autry, Miss Mackey are teachers. We are also producers. We give y'all knowledge. We give you all knowledge and the things that you will need to eventually become uh, members in our society, people in the world and who know things, who know certain things certain things we teach you that is a service a doctor giving you information about something that's might 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 be going on with you whether you have a broken arm broken leg or maybe something else is happening they give um they provide services so producers are people who make goods and services it's not just people who make things they can give you services like miss marcel miss mackie and miss autry they provide you with knowledge doctors provide you with um information on things that are going on with your body or whatever. Now, consumers. These are people who buy goods and services. I want you to look. I want, I'm going to go back to this, this slide. It's, it says pe producers are people who make goods and services, and cr consumers are people who buy goods and services. What are the two different words? buy and make so we have make our producers and consumers are her buy so let me give you an example a toy factory we have this big old factory these factories go in they buy toys so that can, they can eventually um sell so they're buying toys for their factory to eventually sell you and me miss marcel was just a consumer when she went to go get a sprite 
I went to go buy this good, right? Um, or a family watching a movie. Someone created that movie and those people are consumers because they are watching it, right? They bought that movie and they are watching it. That is how they are consumers, okay? I want to show you a quick video on producers and consumers. Then we are going to move on to our assignment for the day. Consumers. Have you ever gone shopping at a grocery store? You might see lots of fruits, vegetables, breads, and meats. Did you ever wonder, where does all this food come from? Well, let's find out. Look at the produce section. Fruits and vegetables are grown by farmers. This means that farmers are producers. A producer is someone who makes something. Fruits and vegetables are picked by farmers and put into boxes. The boxes are put on a delivery truck and shipped to local grocery stores. Then, the produce is put on display for people to buy. People who buy things are called consumers. Let's look at another example. Tailors make clothing. They are producers. The clothing is sent to the store and is bought by consumers. Let's review. Step one, producers make something for people to buy, like food and clothing. Step two, the items are sent to a store. Step three, they are put on display for people to see. Step four, Consumers buy them. Are you a producer or a consumer? Think about it. All right. Okay, where's Miss Marcia? Oh my goodness, where'd she go? There she is. Okay, so that is a, the short video that I have for you. So right now what I want you to do is I want you to get out your piece of paper that I asked you to get out and I want you to write the numbers one through five. One, two, three, four, five. Pause this video and make sure you do that. Each line should be a, like write a one, the next row, two, next row, three, next row, four, next row, five. Okay, you are going to have to identify what is a producer and what is a consumer, okay? So here we go. Number one. Now, you don't actually, I mean, if your teacher tells you to, then go ahead. But uh, you can write a P or a C. P stands for producer or C stands for consumer. So you can let your teacher decide if you need if you need to write out the whole word or if you can just put a P in the C. So number one is a police officer. Is a police officer a producer of goods and services or a consumer of goods and services? Remember, producers don't always have to make something. They can they can give services. So is a police officer a producer or a consumer? P or C, producer or consumer? Write it down on number one. All right, if you need time, you can pause this video until um, you're ready to go on. Number two, producer or consumer? This is somebody buying Minecraft toys. Are they a producer or are they a consumer? Number two, buying Minecraft toys. Are they a producer or are they a consumer? If you need more time, press pause and uh, so that you can get ready for whenever you're ready. <laughs> Number three, AGB. Is it a producer or is it a consumer? 
that video just told us. Is it a producer or a consumer? P or C? Number four, pay attention. Pay attention to this. I'm talking about the kids, the children that are right here. Are they producers or are they consumers? If you need help on what a producer and consumer is, go to the beginning of the video. Remember, producers are people who make goods and services and consumers are people who buy goods and services. So are these kids producers or consumers? I'm not talking about this dude. I'm talking about the kids getting the ice cream. Are they producers or are they consumers? That is number four, sorry. Number four, the kids. Are they producers or consumers? The children. All right, number five, the same picture. But I'm asking for this dude, this guy giving away the ice cream. Is he a producer or is he a consumer? All right, boys and girls, let's wrap up our activity for the day. Today, we identified how people can be producers and consumers. We noticed that it happens in our everyday life. Um, we looked at everyday jobs and ways that we are producers and consumers by watching videos and going through this PowerPoint. And it's important for us to know this because be, we are producers and consumers and it'll help us in our everyday decisions. All right, we'll see you later and have a great day. Bye-bye.